Welcome to this tutorial on creating and populating course sites. Each semester, instructors will need to create Blackboard sites for their courses and populate those sites with the proper students. Instructors have the ability to create a Blackboard site for a particular course and add one or more sections of students into that site. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the method for creating course sites and adding students to those sites. To begin the process of creating course sites, you'll need to be logged into Blackboard and on the My WKUBB page. If you have been trained on how to use Blackboard as an instructor, you should see a module labeled ITS Faculty Tools. Click the link in this module. You should be automatically logged in. To create a course site, click the Add Course Site button. Click the Select Term drop-down box and select the term for which you want to create a site. Normally, you can create a site for any term that is listed in TopNet at the time you are making your request. Once you've selected the term, click Submit. Now you should see a list of all the courses you're teaching in the selected term. If there's a course missing from this list, then either it has already been created or you are not listed as the instructor in TopNet. If the latter is the case, then your department will need to assign you as the instructor before you can create a site for that course. To create a site, click the Create Course button. You should see a green indicator that your request was submitted successfully. When adding students, you may be able to combine multiple sections of students into one site. If you intend to do this, do not click Create Course for more than one section of that course. If you want an additional site, you can click the Create Course button for that course. Repeat this step until you've requested all of the course sites you wish to be added to Blackboard. Next, we're going to look at adding students to one of these sites. At this point, you could click the Add Students button to proceed with adding students. You can also click the Students menu and select Add Student Sections. Click the drop-down menu. Select the appropriate term. Then click Submit. Click Add Students for the site where you wish to add your student sections. Now you can select the sections of students to be added to the current Blackboard course site. Notice that there is already one section selected. This section corresponds directly to the course site you're working on. You can also add sections that are cross-listed in TopNet. If you want to add sections that are not cross-listed, you'll need to submit a request to the Registrar's Office. Click the FERPA and Merged Blackboard Courses link to begin this process. The determination of whether the request will be approved is at the sole discretion of the Registrar's Office. Click the checkbox for any sections you want to add to this site. If you check any box that does not directly correspond to the site you're working on, you'll see a message at the top stating, You have checked a section that does not match the course. If this was not intentional, please uncheck the section before continuing. This is to ensure that you are only adding students to this site who should be added. Once you've selected all of the desired boxes, click the Submit button. You will be returned to the summary page that indicates the requests you have submitted. You can see the courses that will be created during the next update and the students that will be added. Once you associate a section with a Blackboard site, all subsequent changes, such as student adds or drops, will be processed automatically. For example, if a student adds the course after you have associated the section with your Blackboard site, the student will be added to the site during the next update. For more information on when updates run, please visit the link in the description below. If you have questions or need further assistance, please contact the ITS Service Desk at 270-745-7000 or online at wku.edu ITS.